really happy to have in studio with us tonight. It's Job Ogonda, the Executive Director of Transparency International. Do such important work. Um, you know, Job, thank you so much for making time to yeah. be with us thank you today. For us. Such an important issue, leadership. So as we see the celebration of 25 years, previously we had seen all these homecoming celebrations that leaders like to throw for themselves. But the question really is, does Kenya, do Kenyans have reason to celebrate their leadership? Uh, leaders celebrating their own leadership is an oxymoron. Leadership is about being entrusted to deliver on a certain change. So when you, del you have delivered on that certain change, then uh, in effect you've fulfilled your responsibility for which you are entrusted. Uh, your responsibility as a leader on delivering on change hinges on three important factors. The first is your ability to have the insight to map out a strategy or a roadmap for delivering on that change. Right. And that means nothing should surprise you. Uh, the current insecurity in Kenya and the proliferation of uh, armed groups, the deeply divided community that we have, should have been anticipated had our leadership uh, been effective. We should have anticipated that uh, we're going to have a large youthful population that's going to need jobs. And we should have created the kind of environment that then attracts investments and give these youth jobs. So that's a first failure. The second issue of leadership is managing the human capital, financial capital, and the social capital to ensure that the strategy that we have been entrusted with as leaders actually works. The third is about convincing everybody and mixing it with all these resources, financial, human, and social, to ensure that results happen. And when results happen, they're measured, and then it validates your leadership. It's not about an arena for self-aggrandizement and patting yourself on the back. Uh, let's talk about the worst hit places in this country. Um, issues of water, security, you've already mentioned. You've done a lot of research as an organization. What are the areas we really should keep an eye on and, and there's cause for concern? I think the most fundamental uh, issue in any country is security. And security hinges on several things. But the most important issue of security is governance. Because when people don't trust their government, mm -hmm. then people cannot ascribe to whatever that government is saying. You might sing uh, community policing till the cows come home. It will, not hap it will not bring about security. Governance is about instilling uh, uh, trust of the people in the government that, they lead, uh, th that leads them. For this to happen, you have to have the kind of governance that's transparent, that is accountable, and that is just. If it's not just, then it excludes certain people. And that is what worries me about the clamor for the removal of the Cardi Scott, mm -hmm. for, for the uh, reduction of certain people's rights within the Constitution. Uh, <coughs> the second thing mm -hmm. is that without accountability, then leaders are not doing that which we entrusted them with our power to do. So without accountability, our resources are not being used well. Our financial resources are not being used well. Our economic resources are being plundered. So accountability is a fundamental. Transparency, our ability to know how our power and our resources are being used is also fundamental. Without those three, you do not have the trust or faith of the country in leadership, and therefore you don't have security. How do we say to leadership, hold on a minute, before we celebrate, or even, you know, as you look back at a legacy, you must look at the people first. <laughs> How do we start to make that point without having to go to the streets and demonstrate? What is the responsibility of the citizen in terms of making leaders aware that we are watching you and we do expect you to deliver? Because without that, surely, we will not, they will not be accountable for anything. And therein is a tragedy. Leadership and uh, the people who are being led is a chicken and egg situation. Right. The leadership responds to how people perceive leadership. Mm -hmm. So when people put uh, leaders on a pedestal and don't demand accountability, then leaders get a, a, a grotesque sense of entitlement. Mm -hmm. So if you want to take away that 3,000 CC Mercedes, the question why? Now, if citizens embrace the concept of accountability, then you'll find that when a leader wants to celebrate their leadership, and the cit citizen can say, wait a minute, my, my entrusting you with my power and my resources is so that the water situation in Northeastern mm -hmm. changes from only uh, five liters per household per year, uh, per, per day, to 20 liters per household per day. Mm -hmm. Has that been achieved before right. we celebrate? Right. Uh, in uh, North Rift, the person entrusting a leader with their power will ask, security situation was such that there were three murders a week 
in this North Rift have um, the murders reduced to one murder a month mm -hmm. or even no murder a, 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 a month. So unless citizens begin to vote, first of all, because the all the leaders are entrusted to, to register, vote. register, <laughs> okay, register and vote. <laughs> yes. All the leaders go through that process. Right. But secondly, to question. Mm -hmm. So when you're called for a rally to celebrate leadership, you question the merits of attending that rally because your at your very presence in that rally is an Affirms. endorsement. Right. It's an endorsement of that uh, concept of leadership. Okay. If you would have a final word uh, to our leaders themselves, what would you say to them right now at, at this point for the country? The Jomo Kenyatta's and the Ogingodingas uh, can claim to have led us to uh, independence. The Matibas and uh, the Shikukus mm -hmm. and the Railas can claim Multi to have delivered the uh, multi-party democracy. Mm -hmm. The leaders of today, they are the most youthful, the most educated, and the ones that have the greatest opportunity to deliver this country from impending doom. What can they claim to have done for us? A lot of us perceive them as having been kleptocratic, having been divisive. The constitutional moment presents an opportunity for the leadership of this country to redeem itself. Thank you so much, Job, for those views. So very important. What are your thoughts on leadership? Our SMS question tonight, we're asking, would you have reason to celebrate with your MP? Yes or no, 2442 is the number. Of course, the most important thing, if you are celebrating the MP, then truly it is, it is a great celebration. But if not...